Hello, it's Sally here from Dotty Bee. Um, today I'm going to be working on my um, pansies um, from the project um, that um, Corinne and Susanna are doing. Um, that's, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's called Botanical Beauties, sorry. Mine's gone blank. Um, right, so I'm working on my pansies at the moment. Now, it's quite a while since I posted from my first vid, I think it was my first video, where I um, I paint, drew and painted out the flowers and did my background and whatnot. So, and there is a reason why, because um, I did all mine the same, virtually the same, and then I was looking at all the other YouTubers and I was thinking, oh, why did I do them all the same? I've got to made a mistake. And I was kind of a bit, uh, I thought, oh, I've gone, I've gone wrong. And, it was something was kind of holding me back and I kind of got a little bit of, you know, I didn't know what to do. So I've had a think about it and I've been mulling it over for a while and I'm finally there, I think. So, yes, they are all the same, but I'm going to do them differently, if that makes sense. So what I've done is I had this um, this doily here. It's absolutely gorgeous, but... Um, I think I think at one stage there was a hole in it already or there was some staining and um I don't know what that is um so I have I have chopped into it already and I've used um I think I've used an orange did I use no I used a blue one for my um Roxy project the volume four um which was, I suppose that one and then I've just gone and chopped in again to get a purple one purple and blue I think it was something like that so anyway I have chopped out a purple little pansy like that so I'm gonna put that away so now I know it's obviously smaller than than one of these but I thought if I kind of do some decorative stitching around it um then that would that would be okay so that's going to be one of my first ones I think because this one's the smaller one I'm going to go with that one there is a right side and a wrong side to this so I think I'm going <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go pull it, pull it over the wrong way. So I'm going to go with that for that and then kind of embellish around it. Um my second idea was I was looking for I went rooting through all my boxes that I've got and tried to and I found trying to find purple and yellow to see what see if something would give me inspiration. And I found this. So what I've done is I have chopped up a piece that I'm going to use and that's going to be the the top part um and then i'll use it on something else it'll save i did make some suffolk puffs thinking that i would do some suffolk puffs as well for the bottom parts but i don't like them so they will have to go away i think um and i'll put them in my box out of the way for now but i don't i didn't like them so that's kind of like um, I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. I might just do some stitching or some applique. I'm not sure with those. I've not decided what I'm going to do with that. I think I know what I'm going to do with that one. So then there's this one here. So what I thought was get out my purpley fabrics and um, start layering them up. So I've got some purples here. This is this uh, this isn't vintage fabric. This is just like um, from a, like a is it charm charm pack? So I've got those. And I've also got these pieces here, which I love. Um, so what I thought I would do is starting on this, this this is the biggest flower. So I'm going to do my applique on this flower. Now I did have some tracing paper. Just pop those out of the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace my flower. And I'm going to trace what the bits that I'm going to be sectioning off so that, that's going to be one piece and then I'm going to do another piece here and then this one kind of like that so that's what I'm going to be doing so first of all I want this top piece um, I'm just going to find my scissors and snip out my top piece so that I've just got a guide and a template to to work around and work with like that pop that on one side because I will need that again 
so I love this fabric here so I think I'm going to start with this as my base fabric because it's quite dark as well although I have got another dark I've got that as a dark one and do I put that one on top maybe mm. should we give it a go and see let's do this one first um right I've got to keep this the right way um I think that's the right way yeah I'm just going to put R because then if I do it the wrong way it will be I will know Okay, so I need a pen. I'm just going to roughly draw around. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Okay, yeah, I can just about see that. out of the way and I can hardly see uh, oh it's there I thought I'd lost my um my line for a minute but I found it again okay so Going to pop that on there like that um, and then what I might do is with my template again I'm going to cut out yes I'm going to cut out the same again it's going to be quite hard because oh that's the back I will be able to see the back I wonder if I can just um I might be able to do it just like this rather than draw it because it's so dark I can't see the lines very well if I just it's not following the template because it's moved. It's moved quite a lot. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. It must be... I've not had a problem before doing this, so it might be the fabric that, which is quite a slippery fabric. Right, let's, let's have a look. It's definitely not right at all, it looks awful. It's got, um, It does, I mean, it's not going to be the same because I'm going to go, right, it's roughly the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is decide where I want this because I might. Because this, this, this part here is two petals. So if I did that, there you go, then I've got definition of both petals. That's what I'm going to do. So I didn't need to paint it at all because I'm obviously not using the painted bit. But um, And then I think what I might do is just do a little bit of um, this paler purple. Or I've got this one here. That might be nice. Um, so it's this. Right, so I'm going to use this just this side. And cut, cut it out first of all just because it's getting difficult okay okay just to give it a little bit more interest so that's that happy with that not too bad those scraps out the way okay so that's my purple bit done um i'm just wondering if i did i don't if i did the same to that one then i'm kind of hiding yeah i'm hiding the purple aren't i so no i'm going to leave that one because i'm going to just finally embroider on that one i think i don't want to block all of the painting off that i've done i'm just going to do it with this one here 
so um, I kind of want um, I'm thinking I might not I might not do anything with this one either and just do a little bit of yellow with this one so if I just get the template for the yellow bit <clears throat> all I'm going to do and then the rest are going to be little stitches kind of like that I quite like this it's kind of like a muted dull yellowy colour so I'm going to use that you're all well today? Are you finding a little bit of time to do some stitching? It's um, afternoon here and we've got the sun shining but it's very very cold. But after today it's supposed to be getting a little bit better. Right so I've kind of not... that's not right. Not made it big enough. Um, I think I did it the wrong way around. <laughs> That's why. Um, okay, I'm going to go with it. I will do some stitches over the top or whatever. Okay, so that's that one. All the rest are going to be kind of like fine stitches and whatnot. That one's going to be that one. And that one's going to have some stitching on as well. And then what was the other one? Oh, this one here. Right, so that's going to be there. Like that. I think I might just get rid of this little centre bit. It's not the best scissors. Has it done it there? I may even go up to there. I'm going to go up to there. I'm not sure how this is going to take me cutting it all off. But if I'm gentle with it, then once I've stitched it down, it should, it should be okay. Right, let's see how that is. Yeah, that's much better. And then I'll... I was wondering whether I need that. It's coming off anyway. Or do I? Yeah, um, yeah. Once it's stitched on, it'll be fine. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do with that. And then, um, I haven't even thought about my leaves. I need to do something with my leaves. Right. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave my leaves for today, I think. I I know, actually, I do know what I want to do. Um, it's just getting the fabric. I don't know where the fabric is. Um, let me just grab my box. Hopefully you can see it's not too far up towards the camera. I'm just going to look for some greenery. Um, right, let's see what colour what colour green we're going to go for. Um, notice they've got veins in already but it's not quite the I don't want to go too dark. Um, oh quite like that with a bit of cream in it what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go half and then half paint half fabric I like that one it's quite a nice color but I've also got I've got that as well which will go well yeah that's what I'm going to use So again, what I'm going to do is, um, on the smaller ones, I think I'm just going to embroider on those, but on the um, the larger ones, so one, two, 
three, four, I'm going to do half fabric, half, not too much embroidery because I want to be able to see the paint. But if I, if I take that, right side on. I'm going to take that off because that's going to be embroidery and I'm going to do that and that. I need an R again. Right, okay. So that's going to be the top part of that. Which is going to be fabric. And then I'm going to just embroidery kind of Zhuzh that bit up. So let's let's. Do I want that or do I want that? I think that might be too beigey. Let's. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with this and see how we get on with this one. Right, it's got to be that way. Oh, that's right. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. Don't know why I've had my lunch. Okay, something like that. seems a bit larger than I was expecting but I quite like it actually okay so that's going to be like that and then I'll do one for that one one for that one and one for that one and then we'll just do a hint of hint of um I've just realized there's one there that I haven't painted for some reason hmm Okay, I can always embroider it or something. So that's that. Um, and then I have also got that to put on. Pansy. And the type of pansy it is. Now, when you see these botanical um, pictures, there's always kind of like um, a little bit of italic kind of script up here. And um, I've having, I was having a look at some examples and what it was was like um let me get a piece of paper it's like um a figure one for example i'm going to call this figure one so it's like i'm not very good at italics but ita italics yeah something like that so figure one kind of like that and then when I do the next one, that'll be figure two. Da, 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 da. So it's going to be a series of little figures. Um, I think it's I think it's figure. I'm sure it is. If it's not, I'll um I'm sure it's, it says figure. So kind of like that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just embroider that on. Like that. I might just do the one like the French do it. Like that. Okay, so that's going to go in that top corner. I'm going to embroider that. So I'll have to I'm sure it's figure. Seven, or it doesn't even look like anything. Yeah, it's like that. Can you see that? So that's what I'm going to do there. And then for the next one, 
whatever the next one is. I'm going to do a two. So it looks like a little series of botanical pictures. So yeah, so let's get stitching. Um, I'm going to just tack all of these down, I think, and the colour, I need a colour. I think I'm going to, I if I've got, um, again, I should have sorted this out before I started. Have I got a purple? This should be my blue drawer. Okay, so that's kind of like a brownie purple. I've got, that's quite nice. Um, So there's a lilac, so we're gonna, I'm sure I can find something in those three. So these are all vintage, I think they're all vintage, yeah, two vintage Silcos and a Coats, which is just an oldie, oldish one. I don't think it's that vintage, I don't know whether it is or not, but um, so that's what I'm gonna go for. So I think for the dark, let's start with the dark. We'll go for this. Um, And find the end. Right, so I am going to take that off. I'm going to take that off and that off and that off to start with. I'm going to take these two off and start on this one here. Um, I think what I might do is just use a tiny, tiny bit of glue just to stick it down. This is just a, a Yoohoo kind of like paper glue. You can get all the, you can get all the kinds, like Pritt stick and I don't know what the others are called, but um, it's just giving me a little bit so I haven't got pins. Oops, let's get my leaf out of the way. I'm just going to go around and just do small stitching all the way around that. I'm not turning any um, edges over, it's going to be raw, raw edge. Um, fabric is very, very flattened. I don't know, but I must have ironed it at some stage. I'm not quite sure why I ironed it, but it feels very flat. Usually my fabric's all <laughs> crumpled up and has creases in it. Well, it doesn't matter how good my intentions are of keeping my stash nice and tidy. When you're rummaging through and trying to find something, it kind of messes it up and then you think, oh, I'll go back and tidy that. And then it doesn't happen always, not until much later when everything's creased. But um, Concentrating. You can probably hear the click clock, the clocks ticking in the background. Oh my days! Can't get my words out. The clocks ticking in the background. I'm sat right next to one, the grandfather clock, and then um, we had another one. Well, my husband had another one at Christmas in the kitchen. The um, it's like an old school clock, wooden school clock. And they tick very loudly. But there's nothing I can do because I haven't got a door on my room here. It's all pretty much open plan downstairs, apart from 
couple of rooms. Not the dining kitchen. This room and the hall, kind of all adjoined. Right, so that's that piece, and then I'm going to do this piece. I'm just going to tack another little bit of glue onto it. Not much, because you don't want to be getting your needle all gooey. But just a tiny little bit. I like that fabric. It's pretty. So where are we? Right, we're there. So I'm going to go around again with this one. I should be able to um, go up and down this way. This is a bit quicker doing it like this rather than stabbing it. I'm not a great purple fan to be honest but I do love the these are my favourite coloured pansies. I just think they're so so sweet when they come out um I think it's about springtime here that we have pansies. Spring to summer. I do love them. Okay, so that's that bit done. I think I'm going to finish off there because I've got to um, then go over to the other side to do the other piece. Okay. So it's this little piece here. It's going to go there. Again, I'm just going to get the tiniest bit of glue and pop that on. And I'll just start that here. Oops, that's not working. I'm um, sat um, looking out of the window and um, the garden's starting to come to life now. Now that we've got over the Long, long nights. They're starting to nights are starting to sh shorten. Is that right? Yeah. So it's getting later to get dark, and we're getting the bulbs coming up. We're getting um, the birds back in. We've got um, sparrows. Not many today because it's cold, and I've just noticed that the um, the bird bath is frozen. I've got a bird bath outside the window, and all the bird food and everything. But um, yeah, the bird bath was a bit frozen, but I can't I can't see any birds at all at the moment. But um, I did notice the robin back yesterday. He's um, he's jumping around from tree to tree, little trees that we've got in the garden. All right, so that's that. Um, what else am I doing? Let's see what else we've got. So, did I say I'm going to do that or not? I can't remember whether I said. Yeah, let's do that. I've got some thread here already that's um, the same colour. I did say I was going to do I was going to put some stitches around so it um, doesn't look so obvious that I've cut it a bit short. I could always do a new, another one, but um, I don't think it's going to matter. This is, um, I think this is furnishing fabric and it's, it's a little bit harder to sew on it's a bit, because it's a bit thicker. 
I'm already so I'm already sewn through I've two layers because I've got my backing fabric there. I don't know why that one come apart. I must have glued it. So I've got my backing fabric and then I've got my vintage fabric on top that I used to um I kind of patchwork together to use as my base and then obviously the yellow fabric makes three. So. One's nearly done. I think I've picked up some thread along the way. Let's get rid of that. Okay, I think we've oh no, I've got a bit more to do before we're finished. Okay, let's finish that off. Okay, right, so um, we get rid of that thread and we said that one went, didn't we? I think that's backwards. Yes, that's the right way. So that one's going to go on there. Let's get that one on. Um, We'll just see what that lighter so it doesn't feel as though it's been used. I think this is new. It's never been used, I don't think. I can't even get the um mm, so it's not even been you can see <laughs> this is much duller than what's underneath. It's quite shiny underneath. <clears throat> Can't even remember where I got it from. It's definitely an oldie. Right, so I'm just going to, this is the right way, isn't it? I don't know now. No, that's the right way. Okay, so somewhere there. And again, just tacking it on, little, little stitches. Overcast, overcast stitch, I suppose, isn't it? It's amazing how um, quickly things alter and come to life just by adding a few bits and bobs. And if I hadn't have um, put this away for a bit and just, you know, had a think about it, then I would have just dived on in and just done them all the same. And that's not what I wanted. So um, I'm glad I kind of just took some time to put it down, think about it and and come back thinking, yes, I know what I want to do now and I'm happy with what I'm doing. So, um, so all the other ladies that are doing theirs, theirs are just wonderful. So beautiful, some of them, well, all of them are. I thought, oh, here's my the ugly duckling. It's going to be awful. But the 
more I'm doing it now, the more the happier I am that um, it is it's coming together and it's 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 what I think that's it, isn't it? I've done that right. That's that one done. Okie dokie, that's that one. Once I get once I get um, my stitches on, more stitches on, I'm sure that will not look as out of place as it is at the moment. And then that one's going to go, is that the right way around? Yep, that's the right way around. So that one's going to go on there. So I may as well set that on while I'm here with my thread. And that's just going there. I think it should be okay just doing it, um, just holding it on. I may have to come back and just do that piece. That's kind of stick. I'll come back. I won't come back. I'll do it now. Needs another stitch in it. I think it's um, sticking out. Because it's a, it's a kind of like a loose end. It's um, yeah, that'll be okay. Right, I need to kind of push that in there so it fits together. It's, it's actually from the next petal along or the next bit along, but um, I've kind of pinched it from, from that side. I thought it would look nicer being thicker. Am I doing that right? It's kind of looking a bit wonky. What have I done? No, it's fine. It's just that that one's coming out over the top of it. Let me move it over a little bit and see how we get on. This is where it might come undone. If I'm not careful, I may have to put a few more stitches in, I'm not sure. I'm trying to catch as many bits as I can. That's the end, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know whether I've been up there actually. No, I don't think I have. There we go. Right, let's have a look at it. Whoops. Okay, so that's kind of like the start of the three. This looks a little bit wonky, but um, hmm. right. Well, I'll leave that one for now and see how we get on. Right. Okay. So let's do a leaf. 
so that's going to go there and I need a little bit of I don't think this is going to be the right colour because I want to oh I don't know actually I want to carry on stitching round but if I did it in that colour yep oops Daisy might look okay let's see how we get on Um, I think I might did I double it up last time. I can't remember. Okay. Oh. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on that one just to stick it down. Okay. So, um, with this one, do I want to? I'm going to go all the way around first of all, but then I think I'm going to do something inside the leaf. I should have just done one strand, I think. I'm just going to go back. Cut one of my strands. I only want one. So just um, whip and stitch all the way round. So I have to get through that little seam bit. I've just noticed there's like little, I don't know whether you can see it or not, there's little dots of yellow paint. I've just thought, what are those yellow dots? And I've just realised it's obviously paint that I've splashed. I didn't notice at the time. And doubled up again. Oh, there you go. Right, so that's tacked on. Okay, then what I want to do is um, I'm at the wrong end of the leaf. I made this mistake um, the other week and I started at the wrong end of the leaf and it didn't look right. I did it wrong. I want to do a fly stitch down the leaf but I need to start I'm going to double up now I need to start at the far end of the leaf I, I always start at the stem and it's wrong that's wrong it, it kind of doesn't look it's not wrong you can do whatever you like but um, it was wrong for me because it didn't didn't as, when you draw a leaf you kind of do the stems that way don't you not the stems sorry the um, the veins and I did it the other way around and it just didn't look right. So um, I'm doing a fly stitch to make it look like vein, the vein of the leaf. So roughly down the centre, but I'm keeping over to one side, so I'm keeping over to one side of the, um, the fabric. I'll show you close up in a moment. I 
I like this yellowy colour, this yellowy greeny colour now. It's giving a, a lift to the leaf. Oh, I've lost my needle watch. Just highlighting the centre. Oh, I can't get it through. It's this, um, there's this, this here. It's either side of it is quite hard to get through. I think there's another layer of fab layer of fabric. And the needle's just resisting going through with that little bit of force. I'm liking this. I think this looks quite good. I'm pulling the embroidery towards me. <laughs> it's natural when you're stitching by yourself, you kind of have it a little bit closer to you. I think one more. That's too close. I was going to outside, uh, sorry, I was going to outline the outside, underside of the leaf, but now I don't think I'm going to. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you see? Right, so there's the, um, the, did I say feather stitch? I meant fly stitch. I always get those two mixed up. This is fly stitch, sorry. Um, I was going to um, sew on the underside, but I quite like how it's kind of just there. I don't think it needs, I don't think it needs anything else. I like the, um, the contrast. So I'm going to leave it like that. So that's how I'm going to do my leaves anyway. So they are going to be, all about the same um th those like i said those four and then these three i'm going to do a hint of so um so that's that um yeah that's that so what else am i going to do ah so i've got my little figure one there so i think i'm going to do that in black um Am I going to do that in black or dark grey? Let me just find a grey. Um, let me see. I've got that darker grey, which I quite like. Although I could do it in um, an embroidery thread. I think I might do it in embroidery thread, actually. Um, I will, you just, let me get my, um, right, these are my pearl threads or what's left of them because I've got, most of them are in other projects. Um, I've got something like that. Oh, oh, look at that. That's quite a nice lilac-y pink, isn't it? Hmm, let's keep that out. Um, I didn't look in here when I was looking for, oh, that's a bit too pink, I think. Um, and I've got some, that's a lilac, I'll have that. Um, right, concentrate. I'm looking for a grey, aren't I? So there isn't any more greys in there. So I have that, but I think that's going to be too thick. But I have other projects that have probably got the, the grey that I need. I think it might be in this one here, the Stitch of the Seasons. Yeah. Um, is it? What's that? Yeah. Let's try that one. It's a bit thinner than, I think it's a bit thinner than this one. This is a, 
or something else. This is a three and this is a, this, well, it hasn't got a label on, but this is, this is it. I think I'm going to go for, I don't know what this is, to be honest, because it's one that I bought in a job lot. And yeah, that looks really good with the, um, the purple, doesn't it? The grey. I think I'm going to need a thick needle, so quick swap over. And I can't thread it. What's going on? Oh dear. Right. Let's try again. Right, there we go. Okay, so... I think I'm just going to do a back stitch. Just here, I'm going to just do a um, couch it down on the curve. There, so that's going to go up and over the curve and then My pencil marking is quite light actually, but I don't, I don't want it too dark. I, sh I suppose I could have done the um, the friction pen, but um, sometimes it's when you're tracing, it's easier to do it with the with the pencil. too long on that. That's not um, joined up properly. Take that out. But yeah, I like this rather than black. I think black might have just been a little bit too harsh. Oh dear, I'm having trouble threading my needle. I need a threader, that's what I need. Do you know what, I've just done the same again. Maybe it is the same hole, it looks the same hole, but it just... Oh, that's better, no, it wasn't the same hole. Just while I'm here, I'll do the eye, the dot on the eye. It's just going to be a smallish one. I'm only going to go round once.
done. And then just the one to do. Right. Um, I don't think I've done that right. When the French do it, they kind of do a curve there, I think, and then I don't want it like that. I don't know why I'm saying the French do it because this isn't French. <laughs> I, don't, that's, I don't know. Never mind. Just they thought they looked a little bit fancier. I'm just going to manipulate that down a little bit. Oh, I think I might have done that too much. One more. Okay, so that's that done. that off and then I think that'll be about it for now. Um, I'll just go through what my plan is then. So what else have I got to do? Right, so I've got that to do, um, but I might do that last because um, the fabric frays a little bit. I don't want to um, fray it too much while I'm sitting well. I can't get my words out again. Stitching. So I will do that last. So when I go off camera now, I'm going to um, just do a little bit of thread painting. Not too much because I still want the um, the painting to come through. And then I've told you what I'm going to do with my leaves. And I'm going to do some stem stitching with my stems. Um, I'm not sure what colour. I think I might go darker. A bit darker on the stems, on the actual stems. But I do like the effect that um, the lighter thread has had on the leaf. So yeah, that's um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Much happier now that I've um, I've got a plan. So um, yeah, I'll be able to um, crack on with that now. So um, that's because this is this is this is January's. So there's one a month. So I've got um, I've got a couple of weeks left yet. Anyway, of January. So um, there's no rush. Um, so yeah. And that's it for now so thank you very much for joining me and i hope to see you again soon so bye bye